called chimney stacks on wheels. Some can be crude, devoid of any luxury, but nevertheless, they're undeniably Filipino. I'm talking about that hearty good old public utility jeepney, but one company thought maybe dressing up the ride of the masses can make a difference. Joining us on Goodwill is the Chief Operating Officer of Resorts World Manila, Stephen Riley, to talk about the Pinoy Ultimate Jeepney. Hi, hi, Steve. Good morning, how are you? Now, you just had your competition on the artwork on, Filip on the Filipino Jeep, so tell us about that. Well, every year, we've been doing this since 2012, and every year it's been getting bigger and bigger. Yes, we did conclude in December, uh, 2015 edition, and we had some fantastic Ultimate Jeepneys, Pinoy Ultimate Jeepneys, which is a showcase of art on wheels. Now, your theme this year was, was what makes Filipinos smile? Now, why Absolutely. this theme? You know, one of the things we've seen over the years, from when we first started in 2012, is how much attention the actual jeepney, the Pinoy Ultimate Jeepney, has received. And people genuinely smile. You see Bullock Bayans coming back to the Philippines, and they want to show their partners or their friends what is a jeepney and what is true art. So we came up with a theme is, what makes a Filipino smile? And so the theme this uh, past year was exactly that. And the smiles were definitely coming. Some of the designs were incredible. Even myself, I was chuckling inside as I was doing the judging. And oh, so also you were one at, of the judges. I was one of the judges. So do tell us about the winners because you already selected your winners. Um, and describe to us what really got you from these designs. Well, some of the designs are very, very innovative. Um, even the inside of the cap has been totally dressed. But it's when you look at the front of the jeepney, when it actually grabs you, puts that smile on your face, and it actually shows something which is truly Filipino. That's what captures me. So my tick goes to the high side. So but, what was it? Was there something very unique about these designs? Oh, absolutely. This was one of the first years we actually used students who came up with the designs for the jeepneys. And then we went on to local artists who would then take that design and then put that idea onto the canvas, which is the jeepney. And those jeepneys today are actually plowing the fields of Villamore or Nichols in the Passe area. So that art continues to be seen on a day-to-day -day basis, even after the competition. Now, looking at the objectives of this program, it was to showcase the jeepney and to revive its prominence, which I see how it's doing this, showcase Filipino talent, so we see that. But it's also supposed to lead, it's supposed to, lead to empowering Pasay City drivers and operators. Now, how does it do that? Well, there's two things. Uh, one of the first things is, of course, when we take the jeepney from the driver, we compensate them first of all, while they lose their vehicle while it's actually being dressed. Um, and, but the main thing is, we actually make the jeepney driver extremely proud of their vehicle. They actually become tourist drivers in Pasay City. And as you know, Pasay City is the gateway to the Philippines. So now we have these tourist drivers. More so, their livelihoods have actually increased the actual peso in their pocket per day increases because people want to drive that particular jeepney because it's something special, they want to get a photograph, they want to post it, and it's a piece of art. Wait, so you're saying that more people actually choose to ride these jeepneys precisely because they're dressed up? Absolutely, absolutely. We speak to the jeepney drivers um, post the competition, and they themselves are telling us that their, their revenue is actually up by 25, maybe as high as 50% before they actually had their jeepneys dressed. Wow. So that's now, putting money back into the pockets of those in the community. Now, how long do they keep their jeepneys dressed? Do they wait the entire year up to the next competition? Actually, I still see jeepneys driving around, which we dressed four years ago, and they're still plowing the streets of, of Passe. So they are maintained. And of course, every year we have a competition. There may be 10 to 12 more jeepneys put onto the streets. And so I still chuckle. When I when see a see design them. from three years ago or four years ago, it stood on the streets. But what I've also seen is other jeepney drivers are now starting to dress their vehicles as well because, of course, you want to keep up with the trend. Maybe also fighting competition over there. That might be very true. <laughs> now, this has been going on for a couple, for several years now. Mm. How has it evolved through the years? Because one, as you said, now you're going into using, um, inviting students to enter the contest. How do you see this evolving more and what's next for this contest? Well, we started off with, I don't know if the viewers can actually see this. We started off with our first year, 2012, just a model. So this was one of, this, this was, was from that first, first contest. Year. We had actually a model. Then we decided to take it full size and actually have art on the streets. How do I see this evolving going forward? Well, we, we really push arts. 
Resourceful Veneta is all about performing arts, and art can be anything. As I mentioned before, a jeepney is symbolic with the Philippines. Everybody remembers a jeepney. If you're a tourist or you're a local, it's going to be in your heart. But for me, this is a canvas as well. So we're going to continue to push the arts, and why not have anything better than something which everybody can see? Not just inside the resort, all over Pasay City. Hey, and maybe further afield in time to come. So this is something we're truly behind, is the Pinoy Ultimate Jeepney, and we intend to do this every year going forward. Well, we definitely look forward to seeing more of Jeepneys dressed up on the streets. Thank you very much for joining us today, Thank Steve. you for your time.